You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Uh, let's go right now to uh, Cedric Richmond. Of course, uh, he uh, is with the Biden administration, former congressman from New Orleans, uh, now over the Office of Public Engagement. Uh, Cedric, uh, to that particular point, look, you served in Congress. You know how Republicans operate. You got zero votes on the House side. Uh, you got zero votes on the Senate side. Uh, the reality is uh, they're not going to lift a finger. Uh, and so the question is, uh, look, you're gonna re you're gonna have outreach to them, uh, but is the president prepared uh, to let it make it clear the Democrats y'all might have to go your own way and do all of this heavy lifting yourselves without any uh, help from the other side? We just did it, uh, Roland. I think you're right. And look, we extended uh, an olive branch. We invited them over to the White House. We entertained their ideas. We exchanged ideas with them. But the one thing we were not going to do was make people wait either through obstruction or inertia, whichever it was, for real support to come. And so there were those that, uh, you know, Republicans said, well, if you break up the bill, we may be able to get there. We weren't going to break up relief. So what we did was we uh, went to our Democrats and said that, you know, we hope for a Republican, but we're not going to wait on a Republican. We have the votes to do it. We want to do a big plan. It's probably the biggest in history. So we did it, and we did it with all Democratic votes, and we don't, you know, we're not running from that. And the other thing we'll highlight is it was a bipartisan bill. It was bipartisan everywhere except in the halls of the United States Capitol. And, uh, you know, we won't apologize for that. And to the extent that we have to get things done, especially things that uh, align with our values and our morals and, and where we want to be, we're going to find a way to do it. And I think on that point right there, I think that's really what is a uh, what is a critical one. The numbers are on your side in terms of uh, 70 plus percent of the country uh, being in support of it. Uh, and I've seen other stories and I sort of want to hear from your perspective on this. And that is not making the same mistake President Barack Obama did. I, I can tell you, I remember in 2009 where he was like, hey, we passed it. And his belief was the American people, they'll understand. And it was like, no, nah, man, you can't. And they got killed. They got killed. President, uh, Vi then Vice President Joe Biden was the one uh, who was trying to, uh, who they sent out there trying to, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, oversee the stimulus deal. Selling something is just as important or even more important than actually getting it signed. So folks actually well, know. So what is, what is going to be y'all's strategy beyond B President Biden traveling the country? But, but I'm talking about just constantly driving, letting people know exactly what's in it, exactly who's being helped. Well, there are a couple points on that. One, uh, we have the philosophy that we are going to do what we said we were going to do. Uh, so we're going to tell people what we're going to do. We're going to go do it. And then we're going to tell them that we did it. And we're going to tell them how to take advantage of what we did, how it changes their life. Uh, answer the Janet Jackson test of what have you done for me lately. And this bill is so big that you really have to take the time to make sure that everyone is uh, comprehending and knowledgeable about all of the complexities of a $1.9 trillion bill. And so the thing that's different between this and the uh, Obama legislation was this time, when we're leaving, everybody's talking about how transformational it is, how big is it, how big it is, and how it's going to change lives. When the plan was the stimulus was passed under President Obama, you had half of Democrats going out saying it was too small. So even though he won, people were still complaining, saying that he lost. And so uh, I think that the president did a good job and the vice president of uniting Democrats around this and making sure that it was a bill that everybody could be uh, proud of and everybody could go tout the win. And so we're going to the president's going to go out. He's going to travel the country and explain the benefits of it. The vice president is going to do that. The cabinet members are going to do that. Uh, we're going to use members of Congress to do it. We're going to use everybody to explain to people what this bill means to them. Already, I, I, you got Senator Tom Cotton who was saying, oh, these checks are going to people in prisons. 
Didn't two bills get passed under Trump? You were in Congress. And didn't folks who in prison get checks? But we didn't change much on eligibility. So it, it is the exact same that whoever received it under Trump will receive it under us. And, and that's just what Republicans do. They figure out uh, something in the bill that can point to poor people, black people or incarcerated people or Hispanics or immigrants and just try to divide the country. And so I think the country is actually getting tired of it. And if this bill is 74 percent popular now, then the question is, what will it be at the end of the month? What will it be at tonight after the president explains what we did, why we did it and what people should look forward to? I think it's going to go up. And so at some point, you just have to isolate and expose people for what it is and what they're doing. And so, you know, you just mentioned it. Don't go out and tout the parts of the bill like you really did something for the American people. You were trying to stand in the way of $1,400 checks for expanded uh, child tax credit, enhanced earned income tax credit, nutrition for hungry people with one in five black families going hungry right now. That's what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. And you just have to call it for what it is. I'm just proud that all the Democrats uh, stuck together and said, we're going to do what's right. And it's popular. So it's not I don't even think it was that hard of a vote. But sticking that together as Democrats in such a unified way was remarkable. The John Lewis voting bill, uh, that is going to be a crucial one. We have been covering what's happening in Georgia with massive voter suppression. Uh, and the reality is this here, uh, some actually 240 plus bills across the country Republicans are putting in place. Florida, a committee there, they just voted to completely get rid of all ballot drop boxes, not even try to do one per county. Uh, and so Republicans uh, are trying to change laws left and right. Uh, is that the next major priority of President Biden? Uh, and look, the reality is the filibuster is going to have to be, they got to get rid of that to get that, get that through. Uh, that, that has to get done or Democrats could very well be facing massive defeat in 2022 at the ballot box the Republicans are doing right now. Well, look, I don't think it's the next priority we're going to deal with. You have to remember the day he signed all the racial equity uh, executive orders, he talked about the need to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. So he's been talking about it uh, for a while. It's something that's important to him. He wants to see Congress pass it. He wants to sign it. And he's willing to engage in it. And so we're going to get prepared to have that fight. You're talking about a president who has chaired judiciary, renewed the Voting Rights Act twice with almost unanimous support one time. So we're going to give people an opportunity, like we did on this bill, we're going to give people an opportunity to get to 60 votes to see if we can do it in a bipartisan way. But this is something that is important to uh, America. It's important to the president. And we see what's happening across the country. And so we're not going to turn a blind eye to it. We're going to work on it. Um, but to say we're going to get rid of the filibuster today, we're not going to say that. Um, but the reality is this, uh, if you have, a, you have a hugely popular COVID relief bill uh, and you got no Republican votes, I, I, I see absolutely zero path to 60 votes uh, on a John Lewis voting bill. Well, many people didn't see a path at all to spending $1.9 trillion. If, you know, if I had a pity for everybody who said it was too big, we couldn't get it done. Uh, you know, so look, uh, Roland, nothing beats a failure but a try and we're going to try and so uh, we're committed to getting that bill passed, and we'll see how we get it done. And getting that bill passed by any means necessary. Well, I didn't say that, but, you know, you read through the lines and you're good at what you do. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to get the bill passed. That is our goal, and we have every intention on succeeding on it. Because we know what it means. We know what the fight to get the right to vote, a, a meaningful right to vote, not just on paper but to break down the barriers and the systemic racism and all of those things involved with uh, voting. And the president double downed on it on Bloody Sunday. The vice president is engaged with it. So it's something that the entire White House is paying attention to. All right. Senator Richmond, we certainly appreciate it. We look forward to hearing President Biden's comments tonight with his address to the nation. Thank you, Roland. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win.
This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.